Hi, how are you? Welcome to another videos. And this is the question and answer session for MRCS examine. And these videos are dedicated for MRCS examine who want to pass MRCS easily. So here the question. First of all, we can see a man is undergoing excision of the submandibular gland, which is one of the salivary gland. As the gland is mobilized, a vessel is injured lying between the gland and the mandible which of the following is the vessel most likely to be so here we can see a man undergoing excision of the submandibular gland which is a salivary gland uh, due to any tumor or a stone hair as the gland is mobilized a vessel is injured and this vessel it lies between the submandibular gland and mandibular so we have to find out the structure which lies between the submandibular gland and the mandible here the options the options are lingual artery occipital artery superior thyroid artery facial artery and external jugular phone vein so let's see the submandibular gland and mandible and then see the structure which lies between this so here we can see this is the mandible and here we can see this is the submandibular salivary gland so submandibular salivary gland and here the mandible between them we can see a structure is seen which is a facial artery and this facial artery it arises from the artery which is the external carotid artery so the facial artery which is branch of the external carotid artery it lies between the mandible and submandibular salivary gland in the second picture it is also very very easy as it is a big picture and showing other structure of the face such as here we can see nose teeth and leaf so it is very easy that here we can see this is the mandible here here this is mandible and here this is the submandibular salivary gland and between these two structures we can see the facial artery is passing so during the operation of the submandibular gland there is a risk of the injury of this vessel and usually this vessel is the facial artery so facial artery is a risk of injury during the operation of the submandibular gland and this artery facial artery it lies between the base of the mandible and the submandibular gland so our final answer it is the facial artery and this facial artery this is the facial artery and this facial artery it lies between the submandibular gland and the mandible and it may be injured during the excision of this gland. Thank you all.